Hey guys, Dan with Ninja Gators here. Are you struggling with daily direction? Here's a pre-market tactic that I use to kind of assess the day's direction as to where we're going. It's a process called market profiling. You may have heard of it before. It is an assessment of where volume is throughout the course of the day. So I like to keep a rolling chart marked up here with, with a little bit of information here. Let's, let's just dive into a single day and I'll kind of show you what it is that I'm actually looking at. So let's just dive into this, this Wednesday here. So Wednesday is what we call a distribution day. It is a bullish day. So we've got a few pieces here. You got your daily high here at uh, 45, 30 and three quarters. You got your daily low. The lowest price that price touched throughout the day, 44.96 and a quarter. And then you have your distribution of volume, right? So on the left hand side here, you've got a couple different pieces. You got your value area low here. This blue shaded below here represents 15% of the daily volume. This blue area up here represents 15%. So the inner gray here represents 70% of the volume that went off throughout the day. Also known as your value area. And then this yellow line indicates here where the highest amount of volume went off throughout the day. So you can see volume was real light down here, started to build, 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 bigger, bigger, bigger. And they, they call this a, a capital P uh, distribution day because uh, the profile itself looks like a capital P. Okay. So you got your value area low, your value area I, and your POC right here. Okay. So now let's string a couple of these days together and give us, uh, give us a little bit of context as to what is happening in the marketplace right now. So let's just start with last week, Tuesday. And we'll go Tuesday to Tuesday, and then we'll kind of get into today as we're doing this uh, morning of Wednesday. So let's go into the last Tuesday. We had another one of those capital P distribution. This was a heavy distribution bullish day. Uh, this was, uh, I believe this was FOMC day. Jerome Powell comes out and talks, and then the market goes haywire, and it just skyrocketed up all throughout the day. Okay, so you got your high, your low. Wednesday's session starts. You pierce down below into the range of Tuesday. And then you go back up and you close out. Another distribution day up, like we just talked about. Uh, this is a continuation up. Thursday, a little bit different. This is more of your traditional bell style, your, your bell curve distribution day. So you have essentially a sideways day until the market opens, comes on up, pierces through Wednesday's high and then closes down back within the range with some heavy volume down at the bottom. Didn't, didn't not the most volume, but noteworthy that there is some heavy volume down here at the bottom on Thursday. Okay, then Friday comes. So now you kind of have a close back within the range. Okay, just keep that in mind. So then Friday comes and now you have price skyrocketing up, taking out Thursday's high and then closing back down below and taking out Thursday's low. That's called an outside day. Uh, again, kind of... Uh, a lowercase b distribution day, so it's more of a bearish outlook on the day. See the distribution down, highest volume goes off at the lower end of the uh, the trading price curve on the day, and then closes back within that range here at 45, 22 and three quarters. Okay, so now Monday rolls around and we have basically a flat sideways, no action kind of a day, and it's an inside day. So you have a, an outside day, followed by an inside day. And then you have Tuesday come around, which was you pierce down through, pull back up in, and then close down. So you not only pierce through Monday's low, but you pierce through Friday's low. So now you have another close down, okay? And now we're heading into today. So today we are rotating down. You can also see this heavy volume spike right here. Um, towards the low end. So that leads me to believe that after we just put all of this in context, you have a rally, a continuation, a muted continuation, a topping, a confirmation of a top with an outside day, and you have an inside day, and then you drop down lower. So now, if I were to be a gambling man, I would say uh, with an educated guess that price is going to pierce through Tuesday's low, which is done already overnight. We've pierced through the low. We're going to potentially rally back up into yesterday's range and then close below Tuesday's low. And we'll close down somewhere in here. My bias for the day is lower prices. I'm going to be orienting my trends today around looking for shorts. Hope that helps. Good luck. Happy trading. From this morning's profiling, we determined prices were likely headed lower on the day. This was confirmed with price action off the open and then again off the 9 a.m. ISM news release along with my EMA cloud downtrend and all the heavy negative deltas from my order flow chart. Price broke downward structure, retraced, 
and gave me a nice entry using a sell stop order to catch me short into the trade on the way down and out of my zone. I used a three contract trade, took two contracts off at three and a half points, and then left the runner to finish at a 10 point S&P move down. Overall, this was a two to one risk reward ratio a total of 837.50 in 20 minutes of risk. That's the power of profiling. If you think you're missing something from your trading, it's because you are. Click the link below for more details. All information in this video is provided for educational purposes only and is not an offer or recommendation to trade futures, stocks, options, or forex.